LA Rams at Arizona. This line is moving. All the money coming in in Arizona. Um, you know, I think people are are realizing that Kyler Murray is back, that he's a great athlete. I think people feel like the Rams probably got a little bit lucky last week uh, in the way they won the game and covered yeah. for those of us who had him as dogs. Uh, thank, thank you to Drew Locke. Um, not a strong opinion on this game, though. Yeah, I mean, I don't know if Evan has any trends on this, but it does feel like Arizona usually plays the Rams really well. Um, but maybe I have that wrong. I, I just remember there, there's something weird with this division where it's like each team has their matchup and um, that's who they play really well against. But, uh, you know, Arizona is just a team that you talked about it last week. I just kept saying I, I just think people are undervaluating or undervaluing what Kyler means to this team and how athletic he is and how good he is. and. Um, got extremely lucky last week with this team. Like they came out on fire, put up a bunch of points, and then just did nothing in the second half. And then lucky for them, Houston didn't do any this anything in the second half either. So they were able to cover that five and a half. Uh, you know, this number to me though shouldn't be they shouldn't be a dog. Like I do have it as them as a slight favorite. So um, okay, so I have it the other way. The Rams own Arizona. The the Arizona is two and eleven ATS versus the Rams since twenty seventeen. I knew there was something weird where one one of these teams owned the other one. Um, that's crazy. So yeah, maybe I'll maybe I'll walk away from it. But I do I do like Arizona in this spot. But that is a very telling sign. Just McVay, he knows how to play against this Arizona team. Clearly, since he's taken over the Rams, that's that's wild. Since twenty seventeen, two and eleven ATS the Rams are. I mean, the Arizona is against the Rams. So, um, yeah, it's making me coward a little bit here. I already bet the Arizona might might have bet it too early here. <laughs> yeah, this game feels like we need to get more information. Like, I, I would let the market dictate ultimately what I decided to do here because this one feels a little bit trippy. Like, both teams are sort of mired in me mediocrity and to worse if you're the Cardinals except they feel a little ascendant and the Rams feel like they're plateauing and the yeah. Rams plateau is just so much higher than the Cardinals right now. Yeah. And I need, and I, as someone that heavily bet the Rams win total over this, this would go a long way for me if the Rams did win this game. But um, yeah, my model says there's value in Arizona, but the trends clearly show the Rams are probably the better bet. 